On Wednesday, the 12th of May, the fifth EBSA online community Swift ride took place and saw a diverse field of local and international cyclists line up to take on the volcano climb after party route. Three, two, one, and off you go. Ntunzi Jonas, EBSA's Sponsorships General Manager, joined in welcoming participants as well as the impressive guest trio who gave a glimpse into the world of the extreme athlete. We're having our fifth EBSA online community ride. Keep the line up, welcome guys, and enjoy the ride. Leading the pack was the GOAT and downhill mountain biking world champion Greg Minar who gave us insight into the upcoming UCI downhill season and shared some of his memories in participating in the world's toughest mountain bike race, the EBSA Cape Epic. And now uh, things got delayed with COVID obviously and we're gonna kick off in this first week of June um, in Leo Gang, Austria. We're not quite sure when the start of the season is gonna happen, but you just gotta be ready for it. Uh, I think we're just gonna have to go through this year racing. So um, fitness is gonna be key making sure you can recover. Well, I actually did the first, the very first uh, Absa Cape Epic. It was quite different to what it is now. And if you, you think back to, to where the events come from and to what it is today, and what an iconic event it's become in such a short time, it's incredible. You know, I, I don't know how many more years I've got racing down all. And uh, as soon as that's called the day, I'll for sure be on the start line of the Absa Cape Epic. Anna Watkinson, one of South Africa's top female triathletes and ABSA's head of global finances coastal regions, along with her coach Rafael Medek, chatted around how she stays motivated and in peak performance while balancing her career and grueling training schedule. My balance is finding time for training, work and rest and recovery. And then everything else is added bonus if it comes along. Mm -hmm. Anna works incredible hours we try and squeeze as much as we can out of the time we step after work and the other way. And I think if you find something incredibly rewarding in itself, it's just motivating. Newly appointed Chief Medical Officer to the South African Olympic team, Dr. Pato Kutle Zondi, provided insights as to what she and her team will be doing to ensure our athletes are physically and mentally prepared for the Tokyo 2021 Games. As Chief Medical Officer for Team South Africa, essentially I head the medical team, which consists of six doctors in total and 12 physiotherapists and a psychologist. And our responsibility essentially is to make sure that the athletes arrive at the games in good health. Um, that while they're there, we play our parts in ensuring that they remain healthy and good alone. So I've got um, five incredible doctors that I work alongside and 12 very passionate physios that will also be joining at the games and after the athletes. Lastly, we spoke to businessman Peño Matopa and his teammates and friend Sefiso Mkabela, an ABSA senior managing banker, about their race preparations, managing their hectic schedules and their expectations for the 2021 ABSA Cape Epic. But I think like with all the races, it, it's going to test the friendship, but I'm looking forward to that. It's about, to me, it's really about a relationship. It's a relationship that well, the banker has with their client. It's about understanding your client's business intimately well. I think yeah, for me in a race setting, it's about understanding the environment that we're going to go into. There are tough eight days, and it's like the business environment now. It's tough, right? You've got to put in the work, you've got to put in the hours, and you've got to think out the box. It's just time on the cell or hours in, that whole 10 uh, hours an hour rule. Yeah. Um, so you, you create your own luck by putting in the hours. Yes, epic ups the empty a little bit, I accept that. But uh, you want to finish this thing? Yeah. I'm ready. Yeah. <laughs> To all the cycling enthusiasts out there, ABSA encourages you to stay safe, stay focused and to join us for the next ABSA online community ride.